fiasco. Uh, we all have heard about Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Des Bryant and his crew sagging pants incident at an upscale Dallas mall last week. And regardless of how that really went down and who was telling the truth, it was an incident that should have been avoided. Now, former Dallas Cowboys cornerback Neon Dion Primetime Sanders said that Bryant's actions at the mall were ignorant and said he needs help. Sanders said, quote, he needs help, he needs help. I told the Cowboys from day one that he needs help. Matter of fact, they have a team in place to help him, but you cannot tell a grown man what to do, end quote. Sanders has mentored Bryant in the past, but has severed ties with Bryant. Sanders said, quote, I haven't spoken to the kid. I have no desire to speak to the kid. In regards to me, I can forgive, but I can't forget. You can't tarnish the other things that I have going on in other kids. It's sort of like I can't allow something to poison the fruit of many other kids. I can't do it. So I cut off those ties a long time ago, end quote. Now, this week, Brian has found himself in the news again, facing two separate lawsuits for money he allegedly owes people. In the first lawsuit, he owes $246,000 to a New York-based jeweler. And in the second lawsuit, he owes $600,000 to a Dallas-area jeweler, who's also a ticket broker, who says he gave Bryant a combination of sporting events tickets, cash for spending money before the NFL draft, and various items that included two engagement rings, tennis bracelets, iced-out dog tags, an iced-out Cartier watch, and about 30 other jewelry items. Now, Bryant has made $2.8 million in salary and bonuses this year, and after taxes, he is left with $1.8 million. After this lawsuit, he will have to fork over the $850,000 owed and probably another 100000 in damages and lawyer fees. That will leave him with $800,000 to live off this year, so I hope he manages the, mess, the rest of his money better from here on out. For the record, after taxes, he is guaranteed $3.7 million from the Cowboys under his current five-year $12 million contract. Um, Des, real talk, if you need an advisor, go to our warroomsports.com website and holler at Bay Financial Services. They'll take care of you because we don't want to see you in our next Mo Money, More Problems segment, part five, about athletes who run really fast. And with that... Kuwait is the war room with five nights at the round table, five Philly guys diversified and educated.